hovering, scouting, and soon perhaps life-saving. This is Xena. Zoo Emergency Nutrition by Air. It's a custom-designed drone attachment that could soon be used in fires, floods or droughts. The idea is that you can get out there quickly, strap it to a drone, fill it with all kinds of different food items that might be suitable for all the different animals in that particular patch of bush and fly out and disperse food across quite a wide area at fairly short notice, quite cheaply too. It's an extension of Zoos Victoria's drone arsenal which is used to survey habitats, 3D map landscapes and track animals and an example of the innovations that Zoos Victoria spends more than $250,000 a year to develop. But not all innovations are up high. Some are closer to the heart, like the Mini Pulse Oximeter. This technology is very innovative and really important to what we do because historically we wouldn't be able to count the heart rate of certain species. Tiny animals have really fast heart rates. Stethoscopes can be too large for accurate readings of some Australian animals. That includes the critically endangered mountain pygmy possum, which was only rediscovered in the 60s, making every single one precious. They are about 40 grams, they can get up to 60, 70 grams, and they hibernate under the snow. Other animals on the endangered list in Australia include this elusive bird. The plains wanderer is, in terms of evolutionary distinctness, not like any other bird on the planet. It's on its own family tree. Standing just 12 to 15 centimetres tall, there are as few as 250 left in the wild. We can't always see them, but if you're in the right place at the right time, you can hear them. So, for the past five years, song meters developed with Museums Victoria have been set up to listen for the bird's call with great success. You can put them into a sort of a much broader area across the landscape. You can have a whole array of these recorders and the birds are showing up in places that we may not have assessed as best quality habitat. Song meters are being placed in Western Victoria and it's hoped Xena will be ready but not needed anytime soon. Iskandar Razak, ABC News, Melbourne.